Hello everybody, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back once again with the ANET ET4, but this will also work with the ANET ET4X. What I'm doing is I'm designing a part that slides into the 2020, and then it will give a 3D printed bearing. So the entire part is 3D printed, it'll slide in, you do not really have to mod anything, just take off the cap, and then your filament will have a more rounded curve as it goes to the printer. So my friends, let's get cracking. Alrighty friends, so this is the part that I've whipped up in Tinkercad. Uh, this goes around a piece of 2020, so the 2020 just slides in. I've got a little peg that kind of locks it there. These are the size of computer screws. I've pulled apart a lot of computers, so I've got those screws. Uh, you don't necessarily have to use that. When I put this on, uh, sometimes it's tight enough I don't need it. These are just cones that you pull off afterwards. And then I'm going to use Mesh Mixer to create some final supports up there when I'm done with it. Uh, the beauty of the whole part is that these peel off, and when you're done, this bearing spins. Uh, if I look right at that angle, you can kind of see there's a gap. I can also switch from a solid to a transparent, and then you can see a little bit of how I designed that part so that when it's finished, the inside is locked to the post and the outside is actually a bearing that allows your filament to spin. And I found that the more you use them, the better they spin because the plastic starts to become more smooth. And then a new thing that I added is I cut a groove here so that if you accidentally forget to attach your filament when you're loading it, you can just slide it inside the groove and it should stay in there. I have not tested that feature yet. We'll see if that's a smart place to put the groove or if I need to find a different way. But at least it's something different that we can try. So then once you've got your part designed, you gotta send it out for your printer. But if you've never seen Mesh Mixer, this is a free tool and I've got a video about it as well. It allows you to import your part and then it lets you analyze your part. So real quickly, this is what it looks like in Mesh Mixer. I don't worry about the shading at all. Um, you can do all kinds of cool changes, but all I'm gonna do is hit Inspector. It's got three parts it doesn't like. I'm gonna just hit Auto Repair on those. I'm gonna hit Done. And then the big thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take care of the overhangs. So it'll generate support for me. And then I can look at the support and see if I like it. I don't mind this little one. I think that's fine. These two I want. I definitely wanted this one right here. This one I don't care about. So if I hit done and I hit select and I click on the one I don't want, I can just hit delete to get rid of it. I printed mine earlier with these. I don't like them. They were annoying. I forgot to. I'm going to do control Z. When I click on these, I need to do extend, uh, which extends to all. So right here when I hit E, it grabs it all. And then when I hit delete, it gets rid of the parts that I don't want. So now that I've got that part completely the way I want it, I'm going to export it for putting it up on Thingiverse. I'm going to do File, and I'm going to do Export, and then I like to do STLs in the binary format, and then I keep the same name, but whenever I add these supports, I change it to Dash Supported. And once I've got that step done, I bring it into Kira so we can take it to the printer. We'll do these steps super fast. You can see I've got the ANET ET4 loaded up. I'm going to go to 3D modeling. There is that supported one. I always like to rotate these so I can see it better on the video. Um, that way the part's coming at us that way along the y-axis. You can see all those little supports. I'm going to make sure my settings are groovy. I want those extra fast 3 millimeter, keeping the 0.8. Infill, I'm going to say, I'm going to leave that as 20, but I want it to be the lines. I'm going to go with 210. I like 60, and then I'm going to bump this up to 75 for this print because I'm starting to trust this printer a little more. It came with 50, and then the more you play with them, the more you can adjust those. I do not want brim. I want skirt. I always like it to have that four lines and 10 millimeters away. You can save these settings so that you can use them between them. Uh, just make sure you keep track each time before you save it to the removable and get working. Real quick, line width 8, 4, 1.2, like all those infill 20 lines, build plate. I am happy. So in an hour and 41, we'll be able to check out that sweet part.
Alrighty, friends, let me show you what we made. Um, so this is with the basic settings on the ET4 that I had the other day. Um, I put in these Tinkercad supports. <laughs> this one actually just pulled off automatically. I put in one here for the peg. I've got these two that I'm going to pop out of here with pliers. Those were made with mesh mixer which I will have in the file. That one's added. These are the two in the back that were annoying, so they are not in the print anymore. Now, we all know that life doesn't always go perfect. Uh, this was the first one that printed. Uh, I wasn't looking, and this edge over here failed. So I came back, and this side looked awesome. But then I looked over here and said, oops. So I canceled that out, touched it with a bit of hairspray, and boom, she took off and was fine the second time. And friends, this is how it all comes together. That simply slides in those grooves. I tear apart a lot of computers and I made that hole about the size of a CD-ROM screw. But also, check it out, that's pretty darn snug as it is. This filament slides right through. That's a little further down, straight down than I want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just loosen these, slide the reel back more towards the middle, and boom, I'll have the exact loop I want for the top. And then I'm going to work on a bottom print later, but I just wanted this top one done first. Alrighty, friends, so there you have it. Slid this back so now it's at a better angle. Comes through the groove, that'll roll as it goes. The more you use it, the better that bearing will get because it is 3D printed. Has a groove that you can slide the filament in, so even if you forget to put it on when you start, you can add your filament later. Totally designed in Tinkercad and available for free on Thingiverse. I will make sure I put a link in the description. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know in this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.